Welcome back to the prayer link. Well, we have all heard it. We all know it. But do we truly believe that God's purpose for our lives prevails? That's, That's right. the question. Yeah, everyone wants to know who they are and what they are called to do with their life. Our next guest has spent a lifetime interviewing powerful, on-purpose people and studying what the Bible has to say about it. Take a look. We're doing this because we believe the way to change the world is one story at a time. I said, David, look, you don't know me. My 12-year-old daughter's in the film. I want to do a film called God's Not Dead. When you turned your life over to God, he began opening doors for you. Yes, he did. And you went from the crack house <laughs> to the White House. Yes! And so here I was at 17. I'm six months pregnant. I've never had prenatal care. And I had the clothes on my back, literally. My wife would always say, find the injustice that angers you or the passion that inspires you. That's what God's called you to do. You have since traveled the world numerous times. <laughs> what is it that you just can't wait to get back to? Red beans and rice and smoked sausage. I was reminded of the darkest day and that I was called to do more. Joining us now to talk more about living a life of purpose is award-winning TV host, author, and motivational speaker, Beth Townsend. Beth, welcome to the prayer link. Thank you so much. It's great to be with you this morning. Everyone wants to know who they are and what to do with their life, but your approach in helping people, helping people find that is a little bit different. Tell us about how you guide people in that. Well, as a coach, I work with people because, like you said, everybody wants to know who they are, but I like to start with the backwards approach, because if you know who you're not and who God's not called you to be, who you are then begins to emerge and have complete freedom to walk in the giftedness and the fullness of the spirit. You know, we try to be too many things and we get too influenced by the culture that we see what other people are doing and we think maybe I should do that. But we, we shrink back and we say to God, where is it that I'm gifted? What's my it? And then once we hear from him and we eliminate all those, what I like to call, you got to know your knots. Once you eliminate the knots, who you are becomes very evident and it becomes much easier. Does that make sense? <laughs> it does. It does. I like the know your knots. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And Beth, you host a series on Pure Flix called Life on Purpose. Tell us about that. Well, I, I was on my own at 17, so I went to work. And as a result of that, um, I was dependent upon being successful at work because, you know, it, when work is all you got, work has to work for you. So fast forward, I became a speaker in my industry because I was really good at what I did. And so people began to ask me the, the question, and I was just in my 20s, how did you know your purpose? simply because it looked like I knew my purpose. So people over time, as they ask that question more and more, I had been saved, but I didn't really know what being a Christian was like. I thought, you know, I think that's a God thing, purpose. So mm -hmm. I told my husband, I said, I'm going to go interview people. They wake up every day. They know what God's calling them to do, and they're doing. And I'm going to ask them front and center how they knew and how they did it. And that started in 2001. I've been doing that ever since. That's amazing, Beth. I love it. Beth, a little real talk here now. We have all made mistakes and some people oh, yes. live with the regret of those mistakes and they think it's, you know, takes them off of God's plan for their lives. How do you encourage people who are struggling with mistakes of the past? Well, you know, we like you said, we've all had mistakes. Everyone that I interviewed, you know, we all come from a broken family. We've all pretty much created a broken family because we're in a broken world. So what you have to do is you have to accept that there are just some things, you know, purpose is a process. It's not perfection. So we have to know we're going to make mistakes. And when you're on your own at 17, you know, I, I spent the first half of my life, I like to say, if it's not on purpose, is it an accident? Because so much of what we feel the consequences of is our own poor decisions. And so I live the consequences of many of those. And then, you know, when I began to, to see Christ and I began to understand there's a better path for my life and, you know, purpose is a mindset. It's a faith, it's a mindset, but it's, it's committing to a path where you're going to make less mistakes and you're going to live on purpose. So I hope that makes sense. Um, <laughs> it makes perfect sense. And I love the fact that you also have a book out now called life on purpose. You must be led before you can leave. What motivated you to write it? 
Well, because I believe my story is, is God's glory for God's glory. So, you know, 20 years ago, I felt like God called me to write a book. And many times we think, oh, God's purpose is this, or God's purpose is that. And we set out thinking, okay, well, if God called me to do it, it's going to be easy. It's going to be simple and it's going to be quick. Not so much. So um, I went into this thinking I was going to write a story based on all the interviews that I had done because I had done so many great interviews, athletes, politicians, some well-known people. And I thought that'll be a great book. But God's plan for my book was that those interviews were not to be about them. It was about what they could teach me. So in the book, I share purpose principles that changed my life. Every person that I interviewed changed my life. It was a divine appointment from God himself, not for me to have a best-selling book, but for me to learn a principle that not only I needed, but other people needed and their life-changing principles. All right, Beth Townsend, thank you for joining us today, Beth. Appreciate it. Thank you. And you can get the book Life on Purpose wherever books are sold.